my mind and I just got this massive package in the mail from Lego. This could be one of two things and neither of which have been revealed as of the time we're recording this video. So I am very excited. This is going to be my first look at these sets. You guys will know what it is from the title and thumbnail, but I don't currently. So let's just get this open. I got a little tiny peek into the box when I was taking the tape off, and yup, this is exactly what I thought it was. These are the new Ninjago sets. You guys don't know how excited I am for this. Obviously, when you guys have seen this video, these sets will have already been revealed, but I'm recording this on April 27th. This is my first time seeing these. This has happened a few times where Lana sent me stuff before they've been revealed, but that's never happened with Ninjago before. Ninjago is, of course, my favorite theme, and this is the way that I've been most excited for in a very long time. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's see what these sets look like. Whoa, okay. Wow, look at these. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, I'm just looking at some of these minifigures up here. That looks crazy. Holy crap. I'm... Wow, I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, let's take a look at these sets one by one. So first here we have this one on top. This is Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike. These like Crystal Wolf villains look super cool. And yeah, you can see we have Golden Dragon J, which has trans yellow legs. The dragon armor looks sick as well. And those villains look crazy. These look incredible. I absolutely love this. And there's the back of the box on that one. All right, next I'll go for this one right here. Oh, wow. So this one comes with the new crystallized side of the quakes. And it looks like the side of the quakes actually slides into the crystal blade so that you can use it either crystallized or non-crystallized. That is really, really cool. Cole has trans orange arms and legs, and he's got this huge dragon armor. The new Zane suit looks pretty cool, too, and I love the new Skull Sorcerer. And there's the back of that box. Uh, we'll go for this one on the side now, I guess. So this is Cole's Golden Dragon Cruiser. The build on this one's definitely my least favorite so far, but it's still really interesting. I'm happy to see we are getting a new Cole vehicle. The new Crystal Asphira looks sick. I love that. Oh, and I guess that is the Sword of Fire, the one from the uh, leaked figure image. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping the Sword of Fire would look a little cooler. It works well, like, with the crystals on top of it, but on some, that probably won't look too good. That new Cole suit looks pretty awesome, though, and I love the Kai again, trans red on him. And it looks like they reused the faces from the Evo spinners. So that's really interesting. I guess Cole and Zane will be getting that face for the first time. And again, yeah, just the generic villains look really sick as well. I love all the transparent parts used in this wave. All right, let's see what this one is right here. This, oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Huh, okay, so this is the four plus set, which I wasn't expecting much from, but the colors on that dragon are so cool. Wow, that's really interesting. So it's a Nia dragon, and it comes with Nia and Kai and two mango whippers. Huh, that's, that's very interesting. Not bad for a 4 plus set, honestly. I love the dragon head. I feel like I could do something cool with that. The set itself, though, does look a little bad, but that's about to be expected with a 4 plus set. Still very interesting. Love the colors. The colors are by far the best part of this guy. On the wings, too. Those are really sweet. And there's a look at that one from the back. All right, and all the remaining sets in here are pretty dang big, so I guess I'll pick up this one. Yeah, this is the last vehicle I didn't pick up yet. We have Kai's Golden Dragon Raider. This is a wacky vehicle. Yeah, the leaks were correct that it kind of looks like the uh, Batman, what, what was it called? The Nightcrawler? Definitely has that vibe to it, but it looks really cool. That new Zane figure looks insane. Uh, Zane's my favorite ninja, of course, so I always love seeing like more Zane stuff. So I'm definitely a bit biased, but yeah, that's definitely my favorite one. I love the trans blue and just like the ice shards coming off of him. That looks sick. This is also the new Mr. E and the new Shark and Device. And wow, this set comes with Skylar, who has an all-new face print where she has, like, face markings. There's a look at the Kai suit, too. The build of this one's wacky, but the figures seem amazing. All the different figures this wave are crazy. Yeah, once again, I love this one. And it looks like there's some sort of transformation feature there. Hmm. All right, um, I think this one's the next biggest. We have... Ooh, the Crystal King. So the build of this one, it has four legs and then two arms at the top and this large crystal blade. Mini figures, Harumi's in the set, but it looks like she's got these crazy eyes, and it does look like she is a villain. Also, trans pink katanas is awesome. That's a really cool color for that part. And there's the Lloyd suit that leaked, but it still looks pretty cool. There's also what a Crystal King minifigure looks like. Hmm, yeah, this build's definitely interesting. I want to get it built up in person so I can have a better judgment of it, because I feel like the pictures in the box are definitely not doing it justice. But there's a lot of cool ideas here, and again, the minifigures look amazing. I really love just, like, the generic army this wave. That was just super cool. All right, I guess we'll go for this one in the back. This is the temple, I believe. And yeah, wow, there's the Temple of the Crystal King. This is smaller than I expected, but I guess that makes sense with the rumor piece count of this set. It's just the description of it made it sound huge. But yeah, you have all four different golden weapons. Unfortunately, we don't have a super good look at the uh, Nunchucks of Lightning there. The suits for the ninja in the set are also exclusive. 
These are sort of the normal versions of them to go with a normal Lloyd because Lloyd doesn't have a golden version. And these look nice. I especially like the dark blue hood for Jay. The crystal king has four arms in the set. His face is really interesting too. It's sort of Oni mask like. I'm curious, does he have a head underneath that? Like, is that a mask or is that just actually his head? Also, there's the rumored Tense Gritty build. It's a very small part of the build, but still very cool that they included that. Yeah, this looks like a pretty solid one. Lots of exclusive figures here. Looks pretty good. All right, next. Which one do I want to do next? I know from the rumors, we have the Golden Dragon and we have the Samurai X mech. Both are about equal sized. Um, I think I'll save the dragon for last. Let's take a look at the mech. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. That's not at all how I expected that to look, but we have Nia's Samurai X mech. The minifigures in this one are crazy, like, I think all but one figure are exclusive, that's wild. We'll take a look at the figures in a second, just take a look at the build, it reminds me a lot of the combo mech, but obviously it's for one character instead of four. I really like the use of the C-bound windshield pieces here, and this giant monster thing over to the side super cool looking. But then taking a look at these figures, wow, so we do have the mechanic, he does come in a set. That's great to see, he's needed to be more accessible for forever. And we learned from the poster that he is going to be a major part of the season, so it's nice to see he is included here. One of the generic villains, Pythor, who is white, not purple, but he does have the crystalline armor. This is Oni Garmadon, which is crazy to see, very different appearance from March of the Oni. But I guess that makes sense, because that appearance for him was a little bit funny. I think that is Nelson right there, which is super cool to see him back, and that's an awesome new design for him. Wonder what role he's going to play in the show. This is the golden version of Jay. I really like the design of that torso there. We have Wu in the dragon armor. Again, super cool to see that the dragon armor is potentially coming back. And then we have Samurai X Nia, which I'm curious the lore explanation as to why she looks like this, because she's not in her water form. And there's a look at the mech from the back. Super sick. Yeah, this is immediately one of my favorites, both from the figure selection and the build. It looks really, really cool. And then finally, we have Lloyd's Ultra Golden Dragon. This looks really cool. There's obviously a lot going on in this picture, so again, it's another one I would, like want to build up to see if I like it or not. But the heads of the dragons seem really cool. It also looks like Pro Bricks might have been a little bit off because they said the designs of the dragons were based on the ninja, and like Jay's freckles were on the lightning dragon, and that's not here. So maybe the leaks about the ninja turning into the dragon was wrong? I don't know, we'll have to see when the show comes out. And then this figure looks crazy, it's Golden Oni Lloyd. That's super cool to see, it's always been applied that like Lloyd does have an Oni form if Garmadon does. But yeah, now we have an official figure of that and I cannot wait to see that in the show. You also do get the four-armed Crystal King here, which is very cool to see. Oh wow, looking at it from the back, this looks a lot better actually. I love like how the chest is done, that reminds me a lot of Lloyd's Legendary Dragon from the Core Wave. And it looks like the Oni Mask for Lloyd actually attaches to a new samurai helmet. Yeah, very cool, I really like how they did the uh, Face of the Earth Dragon. So it's tough to get them all in one shot, but here is all the sets that Lego sent me. I am so excited. You guys don't know how happy this makes me, and I cannot wait to get these built up and review them for you guys all on the channel. Speaking of which, as always, with all these unboxings, let me know which one of these sets you want to see reviewed first on the channel. Obviously, reviews of all of them will be coming as soon as I can post them, but if there's a specific one you want to see sooner than the rest, let me know. At least to me personally, the ones I'm most excited for are the Samurai x Mech, the Golden Dragon, the Kai vehicle seems really interesting just because of the figures, and honestly, yeah, the rest of them I'm really excited for too, but those three I think are the ones I'm looking forward to building the most. Now, it's going to be a little bit until you guys see reviews of these because I'm not allowed to post those reviews until Lego lets me, but just just know as soon as I am allowed to post them, they will be posted. And look forward to it, because yeah, this is a very exciting wave. Once again, thank you very much, Lego Group, for sending these to me. I really, really appreciate it. And to everybody watching, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy, press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do Lego and Ninjago videos like this almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. And by subscribing, you'll see these Ninjago reviews right in your sub box as soon as they're posted. But as this one, I think is about going to do it. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.